Bien, Esmeralda. Hi. Hi, good evening. How are you? I am fine. And you? Excellent. I'm doing well. Thank you. How was the weekend? Okay. Very good. All right, nice. Did you do anything special? No. Just staying at home. Not that special. Okay. Yes. All right, that's fine. Good evening, Veronica. Good evening, teacher. How are you? You're welcome. How's it going? How are you? It's me. Yes. Okay. And how was the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? It's cansado. Oh, I can imagine. A lot of planning and checking. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, I understand it. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I've been great. And you, how are Excellent. you? Excellent. Well, I'm fine. Thanks. It's amazing. How was the weekend, Janet? I'll go, teacher. I'll go. To your weekend? It was nice. Yes. I shared some moments with my family and, well, um, yesterday it was um, my my uncle's birthday, so we met for um, having some cake and stuff. So it was nice. With the family, uh, play yeah. Sorry, Janet, I couldn't hear you. With the family only, or or with other person. No, only with the family. Well, actually, I have a very big family, so we do not need <laughs> more more guests, right? It's enough. So yeah, with some of my oh, we are so many. Yeah, my father has let's see, seven siblings. So and each of them has a family. So imagine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So my family is so big. <laughs> Hello, Gustavo. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Um, I, I'm listening to your conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were talking about the weekend. How was yours? Uh -huh. um, fine. Fine. Nice. What did you do? Nice. Uh -huh. Excuse me? What did you do? <laughs> lo, lo siento, no le, no le puedo entender. Ah, okay, don't worry. ¿Qué hizo? What did you do? Ah, ah es, que no, es que es bien difícil escuchar. Eh, así, porque don't se worry. escucha cortado. Oh. Ajá. Ah, este, I was, um, I was practicing English. Nice. I was practicing English. And I I was doing I was doing exercise and I was reading a book. Uh huh. That's it. Okay, that's nice. Excellent. That, uh huh. Hi Tamara. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Um. Uh, sleep other uh, some other way. <laughs> oh how are you I'm fine very but, good uh, always with a second sueño oh sleepy a little sleepy <laughs> yes a little sleepy <laughs> yeah it happens right <laughs> yes yeah. Hi, Selena. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How's it going? How are you? Okay, nice. How was the weekend? Very well. Great. And how about the platform, guys? Did you have any time to work in the platform? Everybody? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. What section are you in? In section, let me a second. Okay. In, in 4.3, si no me equivoco. Okay, 4.3. That's great. Gustavo, you are also in section four, right? Yeah. Okay. Very good. And you, Veronica? Uh, in the section 2.5. Okay. Voy right, atrasadita, pero voy a poner de 
al día. Bien, sí, hay que seguir avanzando. Ya tenemos que estar llegando a la sección 4, porque recordemos que solo tenemos esta semana y la próxima, ¿ok? Sí, sí. All okay. right. So keep going, okay. continue working, ¿ok? Ok. And how about Esmeralda? I am in, sec in section 4.2. Okay, that's nice. Excellent. Tamara, how are you doing with the platform? Por el momento no he, no he trabajado en la plataforma de, de la última vez. Okay. Porque se supone que esta semana comenzaríamos la... Section 4. Eh, la sesión... <laughs> La sesión 4, entonces, sí, ahora he estado haciendo unos trabajos y mañana tengo todavía más trabajo que ese. Así que quizás pasado mañana comenzaría o mañana en la mañana. Ok, that's fine. Sí. And Selena, Selena, I think you told me you finished, right? Ok, good. So, have you checked if the diploma is already there? If it's available? No, Not yet. No, no. Okay. So maybe at the end of the week. Me dijeron que la tercera semana, así que tal vez al final de la semana, por ahí por el jueves, viernes. Okay. Nice. Good evening, Patricia. Good evening, Miss Lily. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Welcome. Good evening, Gerardo. Good evening, Gerardo. Okay, maybe he's not listening to me yet. <laughs> Hi, Claudia. Good evening. Hi, very, I am very good. Excellent. That's nice. How was the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Very good. Okay. That's great. Hi, Gerardo. Hi, teacher. How are you? Very well. Excellent. That's nice. Okay, so I think we may start right now. So let me just get the, the presentation. Miss, Miss Lily. Tell me. How was your weekend? It was nice. Hey, how was your weekend? Well, ah, okay. it was. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. Yes, thanks for asking. So I was just telling the girls that um, I had a, a little birthday party. It was my uncle's birthday, so uh -huh. we had a little party. And I was telling them that we do not need more guests than the family because we have a very, very big family. So it's nice every, every time we gather <laughs> and we get together, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. So, so yeah, it was good. Thanks for do asking. Do you like good dancing? Travel. Do you like dancing? I <laughs> do like dancing. There was no dancing this time, but I do like it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ah, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so... Um, ¿Cómo se have... dice ballet? Uh, as... ¿Ballet? Eh, ballet, así... No. No. Así se dice. Um, yeah, it's the same word. A mí word, me gusta ballet. eso. Oh, really? You like ballet? Do you dance ballet? Ah, se cortó. Yes, I think my internet is not doing well this time. So please let me know if you cannot hear me at any time or if there's any trouble with the image or anything, let me know, please. Me avisan porfa si se escucha demasiado cortado o si de pronto con lo que estoy compartiendo tenemos problema, creo que el internet no está muy bien. 
Okay, okay. so thank you. So first of all, um, I would like to ask you if there are any questions. Do you have any questions? About the topics or any exercise that you couldn't do by yourself or anything? Tenemos alguna consultita? Bueno, por ahorita, no, Miss Julie, más adelante, sí. Okay. All right, nice. You mean direction? Okay. Sure, so today we are going to start by talking a little bit about giving directions. So last class, we talked about the prepositions of place, right? And how to tell locations and also how to give directions. So tell me, what prepositions do you remember from last class? Between. Between, on, on. How do you get in front, in front of, across go from, up. between, okay, between. very good, go up, between, okay. turn left on, turn right left on. on, okay, nice, that's for giving directions, okay, pretty on nice, the on the corner of, Nice. Next to. Next, next to. to. Yes, that's another one. Next to. Mm -hmm. Across, Across from. Across from. Okay, pretty good. The you corner. remember them all. So this is what we are going to do now. I just sent you a map going through, I think. Okay, I just sent a map to the to the group that we have in WhatsApp. Please look for it. And I'm going to read some statements for you. You listen. And first of all, you are going to tell me if they are true or false. Okay. So let me see. I'm going to tell you some information and you check the map. You tell me if there, if the statement is true or false. Le voy a ir diciendo algunas oraciones y usted revisa en el mapa si la oración es eh, true or false. Si es falsa o verdadera. So let's see. For example, number one says, yes. the jewelry store is behind the Italian restaurant. True or false? Repeat, repeat, please. Sure. The jewelry store is behind the Italian restaurant. What do you say? The jewelry um, store is behind oh, the Italian restaurant. It's true. It's true, right? We have the Italian restaurant and behind the Italian restaurant, we have the jewelry store. True. Next one. The bar is on 2nd Avenue. Oh, okay. False. <laughs> false? Okay. False. It's false. So then tell me, where is the bar? On Main Street. It's on Main Street. Okay. It's next to the Chinese restaurant, right? It's also across from the furniture. Okay, number three, the police so station. Exactly, on the corner of Pine Street and Main Street, too. Nice. Okay, next one. The police station is on the left from the fire department. What do you say? The police station is on the left true. from the fire true. department. True. true. Yes, it's true. 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 It's true. Very good. Next one. The toy store is across from the Chinese restaurant. The toy store is across from the Chinese restaurant. True. True. 
Yeah, it's true. It's true. Excuse right? me. Tell me. Excuse me, Miss Lily. Um, yes. I can't. I cannot see the map. No. Oh, no me aparece. To... Yes. Okay. You, have to... you have to check the map in your cell phone. Okay. You have it there in the chat. Ah. Yes. Okay. All right. No, I can now see. Eh, les envié el mapa al chat de WhatsApp. Ahí lo pueden ver. Ah, okay. Really? Okay, ready to continue? Okay, Whoa. so here I have another one. It says the bar is next to the Chinese restaurant. The bar is next to the oh, Chinese true. restaurant. Okay, pretty good. It's true. It's true. Excellent. Okay, so now this is what we are going to do. Again, using the map, you see the point where it says you are here, right? Do you see that point? Ven el puntito donde dice you are here. Yes? Okay, so now I am going to give you some directions and you are going to get mm -hmm. yes. a place. You have to tell me what place you got to. Les voy a ir dando la dirección y ustedes se van moviendo en el mapa. Cuando lleguemos a cierto punto, les voy a preguntar dónde estamos y entonces me dicen, ¿ok? So let's try it. We have number one. Okay. okay. Take the first street on the left. Take the first street on the left. Take the next street on the right. Take the next street on the right. Go straight on and cross the road. It's on the left. Did you get it? Pudimos llegar a algún punto? I don't understand. Okay, so let me read it one more time. Lo vamos a leer nuevamente. Okay. So listen and look at the map and move down okay. there. Vayan siguiendo la dirección para que nos podamos ubicar. Let's see. So it starts like, okay. take the first street on the okay. left. Take the first street on the left. Take the next street on the right. Take the next street on the right. Go straight on and cross the road. Go straight on and cross the road. It's on the left. It's on the left. Did you get it? Llegamos a algún lugar? In Sporting Good Bookstore. The book uh, Sporting book Good. Okay. Did you all get to there? I am going to bar. Going to go Sorry. Sporting Good. I think that is um police station. I no. think I thought. What is it? Maybe Toy Store? No. Um, no, not really. Okay, let me read it one more time. Lo vamos a leer de nuevo, okay? So okay. it says, take the first street on the left. Take the first street on the left. Del punto donde está, vamos uh -huh. a tomar la primera calle on the left. Take the first street uh -huh. on the left. Uh -huh. La primera calle a la izquierda. Then, uh -huh. take the next street on the right. Tomamos la siguiente calle a la derecha. Next street on the right. Then, go straight on. Go straight on and cross the road. Seguimos recto y nos cruzamos la calle. And the place is on the left. El lugar que estamos buscando está a la izquierda. It's on the left. Did you get there? 
Fire department. Sparking goods. Fire department. Hi. Sorry. I think is is the furniture. Yes, you <laughs> got it. Yes, it's the furniture. Right. Okay. okay. Right. Okay. Right, okay. So I'm going to share those exercises with you so you can solve them, okay? Les voy a compartir esos ejercicios para que cada uno si tiene un tempecito eh, vaya resolviéndolos, okay? All right. Okay. Thank you. So let's continue. Uh -huh. Well. Right, so today's lesson objective is by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So let's start with the conversation right away. Let me just... Okay, I'm going to send a conversation in the chat so we all have it and we can see it pretty well. And let me see. Or also if you could access the platform, it's a conversation that we have in number 4.3. It's 4.3, okay, my cell phone is frozen. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Now you you have the conversation on your cell phone in the chat. And let me play the video. Sorry about this. My internet is not working so well. Let's see. Hi everyone. Okay. In this class, oh. you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using. Okay. Can you look at the video now and and listen to it? Yes. 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 I can listen. Great. Great. So listen and follow along, please. Regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. OK, pretty good. So do you have uh, any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? Yes, I know. No sé realmente por qué no me mejora la imagen a pesar de que marco las casillitas para que lo, me ayude, pero en todo caso yo les envié la imagen de la conversación ahí en el chat. You can check it there. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I can, I can okay. yes. Yes. All right, so um, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation of any words? 
the pronunciation for ed, ed, pero creo que vamos a seguir viendo eso, entonces. Yes. Sí, eh, nada más para darles una pequeña idea antes de que, de que veamos el, el pasado en sí. Pues tenemos tres tipos de pronunciación para eh, la terminación ed. El primero es d, d, como una d, un sonido de d al final, como en cleaned, cleaned. El segundo va como una t. Like in, let's see, hmm. let me see if we have any, oh, watched, watched, watched. So we had cleaned, d, cleaned, watched, watched. And a third one we have is it, like in visited, visited. Tenemos esos tres tipos de pronunciación. Um, sí, más adelantito vamos a ir viendo eh, algunos ejemplos de los verbos que se pronuncian en cada una de esas terminaciones. Pero nada más para que tengamos una pequeña idea por este momento, pues sí, son esos tres. D, T, I. ¿Ok? ¿Any other questions? No more. Okay. Eh, bueno, eh, teacher, Miss Lily, eh, me. por ejemplo, eh, digamos, de los verbos que, la, que sí, una recomendación que nos dé para comprenderlos, los en pasado, eso de ID, que sí, cuesta entenderlo. <risa> yo, no, yo, yo no entiendo cuando me hablan en pasado. Eh, y aunque así? trato de memorizar. <risa> ¿Cómo así eh, en comprenderlos? Es que para... O sea, no entiendo cuando las personas me hablan en pasado. Me cuesta bastante. Quizás la pronunciación o sería el hecho, de, o sea, el verbo ajá, en sí. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, sí, como les decía, vamos a, a ir practicando la pronunciación para que vayamos afinando nuestro oído y así podamos distinguir, ¿verdad? Entre, por ejemplo, la palabra listen en listened, right? Listen, listened. Visit, visited. No, y... Uh -huh. Ajá. Y el problema y the trouble is que en, en, o sea, escuchar así en el teléfono, en audio, es más difícil. Bueno, de, de, así yes. cuando otras personas me han hablado así, eh, personalmente, ahí sí les entiendo, pero, pero ahí así en audio sí que no, cuesta. Sí, es un poquito más difícil, pero eso lo vamos a ir logrando eh, según vayamos practicando, Gustavo. Así que siempre que tenga eh, ah, un chancecito de ponerse a practicar ahí, a escuchar alguna canción. Hay también bastantes ejercicios de listening. Primero los que tenemos en la plataforma y también podemos buscar alguna uh -huh. práctica extra ahí en, en internet. Si ponen Google listening exercises for basic students o algo así, eh, va a tener ahí también bastantes ejercicios en los que puede practicar, ¿ok? Ok. All right, so let's practice the conversation. Do I have any volunteers to read it? Hi. And that is Gerardo. Yes. Okay, thank you, Gerardo. And? Me, teacher. Um, Veronica, yes? Gloria. Oh, Gloria, okay. So Gloria, go ahead. Yes. And let's see who starts. Gerardo, you start. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise, I exercise uh, in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and shopped, and then I visited my parents. So what did you on Sunday? I started for the test all day. Oh no, do, you, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. 
Excellent. Thank you. Let's see, do we have another pair to read? Be the chair. Janet and... Hi, teacher. That is Carlos. Yes. yes. Okay, pretty good, yes, Carlos. Sir. You can start. Thank you. Okay. So, solo permítame, lo voy a, voy a buscar la, la, la factura. Okay. Por ratitos logro, logro ver bien su pantalla, pero por ratitos no se ve. Sí, no sé, a lo mejor es cuestión de la conexión que no me... No sé, no me da como una buena resolución. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, okay. Hi, hi, Jennifer. You had a good weekend. Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and shop it. And then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I did a study, I just watch a television all weekend. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Carlos and Janet. All right, so now I want you to look at the conversation and tell me what past forms you find. So what did? are some of the, okay, did. And E-L-E-A-D, pero en los verbos. The E-D in the verbs, like. Had, had, I had. Okay, we have had. Also exercised, right? Mm, did. What did. else? Clean it. Cleaned. Very good. Any other? Didn't. Didn't. Yes. Watch it. Didn't Watch study. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Visited. Mm -hmm. Visited. Also visited. Visited. It's here. Okay. Tired. Also here we have studied. Tired Watch isn't it. in the past. La palabra tired, oh. aunque termina en ed, no es pasado. Ese sería un adjetivo. I feel a little tired. Okay. Me siento cansado. Ese, eh, si no, okay. es un verbo, es un adjetivo. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. We also have. Another one here. Did you have? Okay, any others? No more? I think we found them all, right? So first of all, let's practice the pronunciation. Please repeat, did. Did. Had. Did. Had. 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 Exercised, exercised, exercised. Cleaned. cleaned, 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 did, did, visited, visited, visited. studied, studied. Didn't study, didn't study, didn't study, didn't study, what? 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 what okay pretty good so as you see now we are going to start studying the past and let me just go back to the presentation and we are going to start by talking about the oh, this is crazy let me see. Perdón, no puedo poner la presentación. Que no sé qué pasa. Se ve borroso, teacher. Really? Okay, let me stop sharing and share again. Si 
Is it better now? Yeah, no. No, se ve no. borroso. Se ve borroso. Still? Um, Is it yes. still blurry? Better. Better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Little nice. Better. Okay. So let's start by talking about the negative statements. Vamos a iniciar ahora con el negativo. Yo sé que normalmente llevamos los tiempos con el, iniciando con el afirmativo, pero en este caso eh, vamos a empezar con el negativo porque es un poquito más simple, un poquito más fácil que el afirmativo y que las preguntas. Entonces vamos a iniciar con este. Eh, primeramente, si han visto el video, um, you saw that we use the auxiliary did not. Did not. Para el negativo utilizamos el auxiliar did not. O podemos también utilizar um, the contraction didn't, right? Didn't. La contracción que corresponde sería didn't. And and then uh, for the sentences, first we start with a subject, as always, I, she, or they. Then we have the did not or didn't. Next thing we need is a verb in the present. Acá hay que poner mucha atención en que el verbo, a pesar de que estamos hablando del pasado, el verbo principal se utiliza en presente. ¿Por qué? Porque el pasado ya lo estamos indicando con el did not o el didn't. Enseguida, cuando usted oiga o cuando usted vea la palabra did o did not, didn't, ya usted sabe que estamos hablando de una situación o de una acción en el pasado. Okay? And after that, we can add a complement. So here I have some examples like I did not go out last weekend. I did not go out last weekend. Or she didn't eat pasta on Friday. She didn't eat pasta on Friday. Or we can also say they did not work last week. They did not work last week. Okay, any questions about this? Tenemos alguna pregunta con respecto a esto? No entendí la segunda oración. La segunda oración, she didn't eat pasta on Friday. Ella no comió pasta el viernes. Didn't ah, eat. sí se lee como, como C y no como E. Oh, really? Yeah. Se sigue viendo borrosa la pantalla. Oh. Okay, let me... A ver, yo... Pasta de gato o algo así. No, sorry about this. No sé qué pasa que no se ve bien. Yes, ahorita sí. ¿Ahora sí se ve bien? Sí, un poco, y se ve mejor. Ok. All right, so um, let's see. Can you make some examples? No sé si tenemos algunos ejemplos por ahí. Pueden irlos mencionando. I did, I did stay mm -hmm. in the house weekend. Ok, I didn't stay, stay in my house. Oh, the last weekend. Okay, yeah. last weekend. Nice. I didn't do my homework. I didn't do my homework. Okay. Very good. Next one. Any other example? I didn't cooking. I didn't cook. I, I didn't cook. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any other? I didn't do exercise yesterday. I didn't do exercise yesterday. Very good. Do you have another example? Let's see. I didn't um, watch TV. I didn't watch TV. Very good. I didn't listen to music. I didn't listen to music. That's a nice one. Any I other? I didn't work. I didn't work. Mm -hmm. Very good. Work. I didn't work. Okay. I didn't mop mop in the in the on the floor. 
I didn't mop the floor. I didn't mop the floor. I didn't mop the floor. Mop the floor. Mm -hmm. Very good. El verbo mop. I'm um, sorry, what was that? I didn't buy a shirt or bow. I didn't buy. I didn't buy a shirt. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí, el verbo que mencionaba Gustavo es este, mop. Mop que significa trapear, ¿ok? I didn't mop the floor. No trapeé okay. el piso, ¿ok? All right. So, pretty good. Now let's move to the practice. Ok, so here I have a fill in the blanks exercise. I need you to go to the chat and solve it there. Lo vamos a ir resolviendo en el chat. Voy leyendo la oración y cada uno de ustedes va escribiéndola en el pasado mm -hmm. negativo en el chat, ¿ok? So please open your chats tab. And let's start with number one. We have she buy a new car. So you write she did not or didn't buy a new car, right? Do it, please. Very good, Esmeralda. She didn't buy a new car. And the others. Very good, Tamara. Nice, Gabriela. Pretty good, Carlos. The others. Excellent, Selena. Okay, pretty good. So let's see, just two things, two little things about the sentences. First, they start with capital letter. So this S has to be capital letter. Then we use the did not or didn't. And then the verb, right? Buy a new car, the complement. And at the end, we also need a period. Dos cositas importantes cuando escribimos oraciones en inglés. El inicio, la, la, la primera letra de la oración va en mayúscula, todo el tiempo. And at the end, we also need a period. Al final también siempre necesitamos un puntito. Un punto. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so always remember that. It's important in English, okay? Capital letter, yeah. then the period. Okay. La primera letra en mayúscula y al final el punto, okay? Let's continue. Yeah. Number two. They play tennis on Sunday. They didn't play tennis on Sunday. Very good, Gabriela. Very good, Esmeralda. Excellent, Patricia. Remember the period, too. Recuérdese del puntito al final. Okay, nice. Number three, Sue go to school. Sue, go to school. Excellent, Esmeralda. Very good, Veronica. Very good, Patricia. Tamara, pretty well. Claudia got it, Miriam, nice. Okay, now let's move to number four. I call him. Excellent, Gabriela. Pretty good, Esmeralda. Great, Gustavo. Just remember again, the period. El puntito me les está faltando a algunos. Remember, please. Very good, Carlos. Very good, Selena. Very good, Veronica. Nice, Claudia. Okay, now sentence number five. He sell his house. He sell his house. Good, 
Great, Gabriela. Excellent, Patricia. Awesome, Esmeralda. Excellent, Miriam and Veronica. Nice, Gloria and Carlos. Claudia, you got it too. Very good, Selena. Okay, so we say he didn't sell his house. Number six, Tom drink some juice. Tom drink some juice. You got it, Gabriela. Pretty nice. Oh, no. Yeah, we lost the screen, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, there it is again. So pretty good, Miriam. Very nice, Veronica. You got it, Esmeralda. Claudia did too. Excellent. Okay, let's move to the next one. It says, we listen to the news on the radio. Very good, Carlos. We listen to the news on the radio. Great, Patricia, Gabriela, Miriam, and Esmeralda. Pretty good. Very good, Carlos. Nice, Claudia. Okay, and the last one. Justin and Ryan write a letter to their mom. Justin and Ryan write a letter to their mom. Great, Gabriela. Nice, Miriam. Okay, pretty good. So you got them all right, okay, excellent. So now let's continue with another exercise. Let's see. So here, I have this exercise. It says, put the sentences in the right order. So here you have some unscrambled sentences. Some scrambled sentences, sorry. You have to unscramble them, okay? Estas oraciones están en desorden. Vamos a ordenarlas. We are going to work in little groups. So let me send you to the breakout rooms in groups of three. And you are going to have to write them down or just orally. Si le, gusta, eh, si le gustaría escribirlas, perfect. If not, you can only, you can only um, say them, okay? Si quiere escribirlas, está bien. Y si no, pues solamente las practicamos oralmente. Um, en este momento les envío la foto en el chat para que las tengamos. See. Okay, now you got them. Let me just send you to the breakout rooms. Okay. So please accept the invitation. I'll be visiting you in some moments. I didn't have breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Bye. Breakfast. El número dos. En. Es. Es. Esquí. Esquí. Mm -hmm. Susan. Did not. Susan. Ah, sí, sí. Perdón. Ay, no, no había visto el, el nombre. Susan. Susan. Eh, Diren, 
Ajá, Acá dice solo did, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, solo did. Did not, ahí está el not, está alejadito. Ajá, did not. Eh, did, buy. Not. did not buy. Bread. Bakery o bread. Baker, bread baker. Bread baker. Bread baker. Esa oración me parece que está complicada. Uh -huh. Y por eso también. Do you need any help? help? Eh. Susan did not. Falta el, el, le falta una un boy. Es también el at el at ti. At ti. Susan, did not um, girls, can you hear me? Tenemos eh, en el número dos, Miss Lily. Okay, number two. So let me double check it. It says, so it starts with the subject Susan, right? Susan yes. did not. Yes. Mm -hmm. Susan did not buy. Um, Después del did not, um, siempre necesita el verbo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. En este caso, buy. Susan did not buy. And then, mm -hmm. no sé, ¿qué creen que va después? Eh, buy. Bread, bread. Bread, bread. exactly. Bread at. Oh, bread. At, at, at bakery at, sweet. At, at, at the bakery sweet, exactly. Susan did not buy bread at the bakery sweet. The question. Ah, no. A lot. The lot sería allí. Brent is not asked. Hi, girls. Hi, teacher. How is it going? Ah, okay. Okay, do you have any questions? Okay, está bien. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Todo bien? Sí, todo bien. Ok. Pretty good. Hi, Esmeralda and Miriam. Hi, teacher. Hi. How is it going? Uh, number, number seven. Okay, you're in number seven. Number Do you have seven. any questions? Uh, yes, in uh, number three. I no. know there's... Okay, you don't understand it. Okay, yes. so first of all, um, the subject is the students. Okay, the students. Mm -hmm. A student, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Did yeah. not. Did not, exactly. Did not uh, ask. Preguntar. Ask, exactly. The verb preguntar. Mm -hmm. Ask. Um, the question lot. A lot of questions, okay? Ah, uh, okay. A lot. A lot of questions. Of questions. A lot of questions. Mm -hmm. A lot of, of questions. questions. Los estudiantes no hicieron muchas preguntas. Exactly. Yes. Uh -huh. oh. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. 
Okay, so we'll be back in just a couple of seconds, okay? Okay. En la seis le hace falta eh, last week. Hi, Gerardo and Tamara. Do you have any questions? No, I said that I was going to say 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 that I was Okay. Okay, we'll get back in just um, 15 seconds, okay? Okay. Okay, hi, so welcome back. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, and um, do you have any questions? No, so far so good. Okay, excellent. So we are going to leave the sentences for tomorrow. We are going to check them tomorrow because it's time already. So thank you very much for your participation. And once again, sorry about the problems we had with the connection and everything. So sorry about that. See you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Take care, good night, Good everybody. night, good night, good night, good night everybody.